Today I want to talk to you guys about hard light and soft light, what they are and how you can use them. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So as I mentioned in the beginning section, I wanna to talk to you guys about what hard light and what soft light is. And these two types of lights is essentially what we refer to as the quality of light. Is the light quality coming from a hard source or is it coming from a soft source? So a hard light is a source of light coming from something that's relatively small and far away. And a soft light is something quite big and close to the subject. Let me break this down. Take for example, the sun. The sun is huge, absolutely huge, I mean, so much light, but because it's so far away from us, it becomes quite small in the sky. This becomes a hard light, so whenever you're hit by the sun or exposed to direct sunlight, you're being hit by a hard source of light. Now a soft light is something relatively close to you, but it's a big light source. Now, on the other hand, my key light right here, which is lighting me, is a soft light source because it's relatively close to me and is reasonably large in comparison to other lights, like for example, a light bulb or something, or an LED strip or an LED light that you put on top of your camera. Those are hard lights, which are small and typically far away from the subject, where a soft light is reasonably big and close to the subject. Now, there are many different types of ways that you can achieve a soft light source. And typically what people tend to do is they'll put a big sheet of diffusion in front of the light source that essentially spreads the light apart, making it really soft on the subject or the person that you're trying to film, creating really nice roll off in the shadows. Now you can achieve this by essentially putting anything in front of the light source that light can still travel through. So maybe like a bed sheet or some shower curtains or even like a white t-shirt, as long as light can still pass through it, the harshness of the light is softened, creating a soft light. Another method of creating a soft light is bouncing the light from a hard source onto the subject. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, you can create a bounce by adding a sheet of, I don't know, let's say white plastic or anything that reflects can essentially bounce the light onto the subject. I will stay away from mirrors because that can create a hard light because it's literally reflecting the light. We're not trying to reflect the light, we're trying to bounce the light. Now because you're bouncing that light, typically what the light tends to do is it tends to go off in many different directions. So it's not just focused on one area, which is what would give you a hard light. Because it's being bounced and spread around, it becomes much softer. This is what we know as a bounce soft light. Now another way that you can soften the light is by bouncing the light off something like a bounce board or a white foam board and putting a diffusion over the top, which is known as a book light. So these are three different ways that you can achieve soft lighting. Now a hard light is when you allow the light source to hit you from whatever different direction it may be, just creating really harsh shadows on the subject or the person. Uh, and this is using many different ways throughout Hollywood in very different techniques, where a soft light is used to make everything seem more beautiful and more pleasing to the eye, a hard light is used to make things look more intense, more rugged, more ugly in a sense, which you can see in a lot of dramas, in a lot of thrillers, in a lot of horrors. They all use the technique of lighting their subjects with hard light to create more atmosphere, more drama, and more intensity in their scenes. Whereas a soft light will create more beauty, more roll off in the shadows, and give you an overall nicer image to look at. Now there are a lot of benefits of using both. For example, as a soft light, it helps to hide all the blemishes and imperfections of the skin. And usually the bigger the light source or the bigger the diffusion within the light source, the softer the image becomes. And you can also add more layers of diffusion in front of this light to make it even softer. Now I'm sure I've said this in other videos before, but soft lighting is used typically in commercials, especially when you're working with model and beauty adverts and stuff like that whereas a hard light is mostly used in films, TV series or cinematic TV series, which is, it gives you a more dramatic look. Now, even though the sun is a hard light source in the sky, when clouds move in front of it, 
it becomes a soft light because it becomes diffused but the light is still traveling through it. Now where it's very easy to make a hard light soft, it's a lot harder to make a soft light hard. So for example, we can put bits of diffusion in front of a hard light making it soft, but it becomes much more difficult to create a hard light using a soft source. Here I'll show you guys a few different examples of what I mean to what a hard light is and a soft light. So as I've already mentioned, I'm being lit by my key light, which is a soft light source. It's creating a really nice roll off in the shadows and not a really harsh look. However, now I'm gonna show you what a hard light source is. So now I'm being lit by a hard light source with no diffusion on it whatsoever. And what it's doing, it's creating really uh, crisp shadows around my face here. But also if you look to the side of me, it creates really crisp shadows, really harsh shadows. And you can use this in many different ways. I've got it set up in front of me here but you can use it often as a backlight, which makes you look quite dramatic. You can use it as a over the headlight, which is often used in interrogation scenes to give you some really horrible raccoon eyes. Its purpose is just create more drama in the scenes. So now I've positioned the light source over to the back of me so that it is lighting me from behind. This again creates more dramatic effects in your lighting sequence. And as I mentioned in a previous video of lighting arrangements, you can play around with different variations of where you place your light. And essentially what it is, whatever mood you wanna create, you can use lights to achieve that. Whether it's soft light from the front or a hard light from the front, creating it more dramatic. You can even have a top light hitting you directly down, creating more drama in your scene, or if it's a soft light, evenly spreading the light throughout your set. So this is me now using both a hard light to light me from behind, which is the backlight, and my key light hitting me from the front so that it's softening up all the crisp shadows that the hard light is creating. And it also depends on what intensity you want the light for. For example, I've got my backlight, uh, I think it's at around 10%. But watch what happens when I turn up the intensity of that light and I'm going to turn off my key light once again so you can see the difference. So now the backlight is at 75% and you can see it's actually creating this little lens flare on my screen. It's a very horrible image but it's something that we get often especially when we're shooting directly into sunlight or if we position a person behind the sun you're going to create these really, uh, it could be nice, it could be horrible lens flares depending on your taste. But for me, I can't work with this image. It's not very nice to look at at all. And like I mentioned, you can place the lights behind, in front, whatever this, whatever, whatever position you want to place them in, it's completely up to you. But I think I'm going to take this off for now. <laughs> so as I mentioned, of course, a soft light is used for a lot of beauty shots and hides the blemishes on the subject or the person. As you can see, there's no shadows really here behind me. It completely evens out the image of light creating really nice roll off in the shadows. Whereas a hard light creates a lot more intensity within your frame, much crispy shadows, more intense shadows, and it really shows off the uh, imperfections on your subject. And it gives you an overall sense of intensity within your scene. Now a mistake a lot of people make when dealing with lights is they'll put a hard light directly in front of them which will make it look really amateurish. Like for example, this shot right here, I'm not very happy with at all and I wouldn't use it in anywhere else unless I'm shooting that for a specific purpose. Like for example, uh, me teaching you in this YouTube video where a hard light is. But for beginning YouTubers or people who don't really know what lighting does, uh, this is a very amateur way of using a hard light to light up a subject. I would recommend putting a sheet of diffusion on top, making it into a soft light. But for now, I'm gonna turn off this light just so I can go back to my original setup. Much better, and a soft light is a more pleasing image to look at. That's not to say a hard light is bad. Like I said, you can do lots of different things with a hard light. Let's say, for example, you wanna create a pattern with light. What you would do is you put something 
in front of that light that has patterns on it and you create some really nice textures in your background. For example, if you have Venetian blinds and you let the sunlight come through it, you're gonna get these really nice little shadowy areas or shadow effect coming through the curtains or coming through your, your blinds, which a lot of people get. Another way to use hard light is by using a fog machine or a haze machine to kind of see what direction the light is traveling through. Have you ever walked through like, I don't know, the forest and you see little pockets of light coming through the trees? Well, that's because there's dust in the atmosphere and when the light travels through it, you can see the kind of direction in which that light is traveling through. I'll show you an example of that right now using my hard light and a little bit of fog. So here I'm setting up my light, just turn it on. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use atmosphere aerosol spray just to add a bit more volume within my light. So here by just using a little bit of fog, you can kind of almost see where the light is traveling to and from. You can see like a little bit of a nice beam of light coming in from this side and you can see light entering in from this side. And that's what a haze does when it comes to hard light and a really nice effect of it used or a really nice example used is in Kendra Lamar music video where he's got this really nice cinematic effect and in some sort of like Pope gown and he's got a spotlight being hit from him from the top and that's hard light being used with some smoke or some fog to enhance the visual effect of that light. We get a weakness. You gotta see this. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys were able to learn something about what soft light does and what hard light does. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like this video by hitting a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, and please do so because it helps out the channel. And yeah, guys, if you want to hit me up or anything, or if you have any more questions, hit me up on Instagram or just write down in the comments a question if you'd like to know more. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.